Here to talk us through the blue economy, we have Carl Gustav Linden from IUCN. So, Carl, what more can you tell us about the blue economy, in particular the areas of growth? Well, I think we've seen a remarkable shift in how humans use the oceans over the last couple of decades. Clearly, um, human ingenuity is now coming to play in terms of being better at solving human needs using the oceans as part of that solution. This could be anything from shipping the goods, and still most of our goods are shipped at sea, to uh, producing food for us, or just the basic sustenance. Every second breath we take actually comes from the ocean. 93% uh, or so of the excess heat that we've been burning is actually coming from the oceans, uh, is being buried in the oceans right now. So the importance of the oceans for our economy is already paramount. Now, from my perspective, I think we're at the beginning of a big revolution in terms of how we're actually using the oceans. Much as in the 90s and noughties, we actually saw a broad uh, increase in human users of the internet, which led to uh, a steady growth in our economy. I think we're looking at something similar in the oceans right now. Uh, clearly, if we assign user rights, if we give opportunities for people to use the oceans and have a long-term interest in maintaining it, I think we're going to have all kinds of new ingenuity happening and that will actually lead the, the growth in the economy. So the blue economy is said to be around 500 billion pounds a year, almost, in fact, but how can we expect further growth from these new ocean industries that you've referred to already? Well, I think uh, part of this growth has to do with user rights. So if people have the opportunity and the right to use it, it could be anything from a local community in Africa to a new uh, group of people trying to explore uh, or use new aspects of how um, the marine environment function, we do have a chance to actually get uh, um, and solve some of the pressing human needs. And I think uh, in many industries, we're starting to see this already. Um, shipping, I think, is becoming more and more efficient. It is actually doing a lot better in terms of its environmental footprint, but still we have a long way to go on some of these industries. Whereas I think other areas, we're still really sc scratching the surface. If we look at aquaculture, you know, in many ways we've done farming for thousands of years. Uh, many new forms of aquaculture are a matter of decades. So we still have a ways to go before this industry matures and actually becomes sustainable or it's in a good practice. Yeah, so there's still a ways to go. And, and also there are environmental risks that are threatening the development, but what more can you tell us about those? Well, I think there are many environmental challenges also. Um, clearly, the more we extract, the more we're using the system, uh, the more often we actually have collapses. So we need to manage for resilience. We need to manage these systems so they really are sturdy and so they can cope with the onslaught of human activities, be it from burning carbon to uh, more direct degradation, sewage, pollution of various sorts, or mechanical removal like we do with bottom trawling. So we have a long way to go on that. Uh, we've only really started. My belief is that if people have long-term user rights, they will also have a long-term interest in protecting these areas. So rather than believing in the idea that this is only for humanity as such, uh, having direct links to the productivity of the system to individuals, I think we have a much stronger case to actually have a long-term care for these areas. And my belief is that the global blue economy will continue to grow. Uh, we've already seen a lot of growth, but I think uh, we've just really started on that process. And in some ways, there's already, uh, you know, more than two, I think, three hectares per person out there of ocean space if we all subdivided it. So, you know, we all have a share in the ocean one way or another. It's about making sure that share actually counts, making sure that we do the best for the people on the planet, but also maintaining the quality and the integrity of these systems. Carl, thank you for your insight today. My pleasure. And thank you for watching. Be sure to click back to Jugoscopy TV for more updates and exclusive interviews. We'll see you next time.